My God, guys, last night was the coldest night we've ever had here. Um, I've got to be honest, I love my tent and I love my um, blow-up mattress. Very comfortable and great, but absolutely useless in cold weather. It, it just, as any tent and mattress, it just penetrates straight through from the bottom, from the sides and everything. I reckon we got to under, I reckon we got to about five, six degrees last night. It's still freezing now, my freaking hands are numb. And usually I'm running hot, like always run hot, so... When I'm cold, you know it's bloody cold. <laughs> got a couple of layers on, but the plan is um, for today, for this part, we've got to um, go in, we get, uh, we've used up all our bait, so we're gonna go in, um, get some more squid, and then we're gonna, yesterday was far too rough to get out to, um, uh, I think it's about two nautical miles straight off of shore there. Because it's past the Cape, you, you're copying that wind in, in its entirety. So um, today, not a breath of wind, and you can obviously tell today's a day because there's a few more extra campers here with tin uh, with tinnies. So I reckon I reckon it's going to be a good day. So nice and sunny again. We can get plenty of solar, but we're going to go into town, get some bait, and then we're going to head out to that spot offshore. Hopefully, we can get there and she's all good. And I want to take you with us. Hopefully, we can get on to some more bloody. Right, so time to put some travel, uh, some pies in the travel buddy, I reckon, for lunch. Okay. Ah, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Turn it on. Cool. Yeah, that's good there. <laughs> She's a rough track in. <laughs> I got it. You so desperately wanted that. Didn't I did. You? I reckon you nearly did that on purpose. No, I didn't. <laughs> Right guys, here's Old Faithful in my favourite colour blue. Now, there's a, um, I don't know how, how much length is on here, but it's a hundred pound line, I'm not even gonna bother with leader, but um, that's the rig that, that it come with, little ball sinker and a running uh, a running sinker with the, uh, that looks like a 6.0 or something like that. But I'm gonna try that out, see how that goes. If not, I'll throw this Paternoster that I rigged up on. But I just want to see how we go, because as I said earlier in the video, this is just how we used to fish as kids uh, with my dad. You know, everyone would put their heads down and dad would be up there, sound like a helicopter taking over, <laughs> taking off over the top of you. But I thought it'd be something different just to play. I think, whose idea was this? I think yours, it I think. yours. Oh no, it was mine, yeah, yeah. I think it was, so I thought it was a great idea. And I don't even, I, I think Cam's doing something else. Uh, I want you to jump over there and have a look at that. It's very interesting. It's something really, really out there. And I like that. But keep your fingers crossed for me. I hope we bloody do well on this. Um, if not, I'll go back to Rod. Thank you guys. Let's see how we go. I remember my old man shooting it much longer than that, but I, I've got to admit, I lost balance. <laughs> I'm not going to act like that was on purpose. All right, baby. Come on, fishy. Go on, oh. Pete. Dude. What do you got? That was like a snapper. Did you just drop I'm it? I'm not joking. No, it just jumped, like, it literally jumped off. It's like it grew. Damn, dude. Let me get back out there. Oh, that's good. What happened then? So he was on you, but so literally, he wasn't hooked. It was like pissy little bites, yeah. and I was bringing it up, and then something was going, mm, 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 and I'm thinking, oh, shit, I've got something little. Yeah. Then it's grabbed it, 
and then I pulled it up here and it's like just jumped off. So you Get back on there! <laughs> <laughs> try again? Yeah, try again for sure, dude. That felt wicked. Still felt good, eh? Yeah. I don't think he was that big, though. No, I'll just play it up with you. All right. Probably about that. <laughs> Tadpole. <laughs> still be happy. I'd yeah. still catch them. Oh, it looks like those shitty... Oh, dude, Flatty. Look. Flatty? Oh, yeah. that's a beauty, bro. That's a keeper. Yeah, beautiful. We'll have him. Oh, what? Well, I better... Um, Next time I see you, I'll probably have uh, like cut up hands from all the spines. <laughs> oh, look at his tail, the streaky yellow one. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Well, that might that doesn't taste nice in tacos. Dude. Yeah, bro. That's all tacos. Right. Beauty. I'll get him undone. All right, mate. Got a big old bloody shark over the side here. No, I've dropped my hand line. Shit. <laughs> hey, what do you get the gaff out for? Big fish? <laughs> Imagine the hand line just starts shooting that way. <laughs> Go on this side, brother. Grab it, grab it, it's right there. I have got it's right eight, there. eight month arms. Fish on. Fish on. You know what I mean? no, Nothing happened. Oh. Any bites? Yeah, it actually was. It was actually baited up. He cast it out and it went flying. What a loser! Jesus, they're only in the water about a minute then. It's quick, isn't it? Um, what do they have to be? 24? China man? Yeah. Twenty-five, buddy. He's probably over that. Sure is, I think. Yeah, he's twenty eight. Oh jeez, nearly twenty nine. Oh, well done, Cod mate. Central, mate. Yeah. It is Cod Central. Uh, spiky. Spiky little bugger. Uh, I'm not even going to bother. That was a good set, too, surprisingly, on the um, on the hand line. Oh, you're pretty quick. <laughs> I always make Cam panic every time I um, set the hook. I always think you got a monster. Well done, mate. Yeah, I was, yeah. And they just keep dragging me straight under that ledge, eh? <laughs> it's been bloody good fun, eh? Well, there you have it. That is pretty much uh, the end of our session now. That was a very interesting session. Now, I, I reckon the no I've noticed the difference between the hand lines and the rods. It's almost like you don't really have a drag. You just have it. it like there's no stretch especially in the under pound line there's no stretch or whatever you know no slack so you have to sort of feel with your finger where that um where that you know the biting point is and then when they strike you have to really time it well otherwise these suckers they're so smart up here yeah. they're way smarter than i am but um harder pete you reckon harder with a hand line yeah. i think so yeah. well it's only i've only done it once like up Recently. here to compare, yeah. So, but I'm finding uh, rods are easier, but it's it, shit, it's fun to do. Yeah. I was able to get that flatty, so I'm stoked about that. So, that's going in fish tacos tonight, and I'll see you guys back at camp on the show. I can't wait. I'm we didn't even have lunch, dude. No, we didn't. So I'm gonna cook up a whole mess of them. <laughs> Well, 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 what a bloody day that was. We've just gotten back, we've finished filleting the fish. Now, that flathead that I got off of the hand line as part of this video will 100% not be enough to feed myself and Cam for the night for these fish tacos. So I'm gonna try and cook this right in front of you guys live. The only thing that might be a cut in it will be the um, oil if it's not hot enough or if it's too hot, I'll have to adjust the, um, the temperature, but you know, we're pretty spoiled this trip. So there's the flathead, there's your cod, and that'll be enough because Cam's doing a recipe as well. You're doing fish uh, balls. Fish cakes. Fish cakes. Oh, yeah. damn, son. Sounds good. So I've cooked this before. These fish tacos I've cooked on the channel before. And I wanted to re... That was cooked during COVID times in my backyard. And I don't... I never planned on doing it there. I wanted to do it in a setting just like this. So this... um. This batter, like this beer batter, I got this recipe off YouTube 100%. And the reason that I use it is because you basically can't stuff it up. It's like a easy to remember as well. So I haven't got a cup measure, but it's one cup flour. I'm 
one cup panko breadcrumbs, same amount. One egg. If you're wondering why these are in a bowl, <laughs> uh, there was a bumpy track coming in and I own a 76 series. <laughs> Turn the old salt and pepper a couple of times. And one beer. So I'm trying the old shelter lager for this one. Let's see how she goes. Cam, have you got a bloody fork, mate? Yeah. One you, fork. And if it's looking a little too runny, which it is, tiny little bit more panko. Yeah, perfect. Nearly got it. But that's why I do it, because it's so easy. One cup, one cup, one cup. And then usually you're actually meant to add um, one, well, you sh instead of flour, uh, you should use self-raising flour because it's got the baking uh, powder in it. But if not, add one um, tablespoon of baking powder. All right. That is ready. Hopefully this all's ready. I'll drop a bit of this, the old batter in there, which I think will be pretty good. I'll turn that down a little bit. Yeah, I've got oil in there heating up. Just canola oil, a nice neutral oil with a high burn point. So, all good. Okay. Can. Oh, these are in nice pieces anyway, pretty much. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's get it in. Do you mind if I hold a camera here for nah, you? No, no, all good. I don't know how this is going to go, if I've got it the right thickness or not. Oh, well done. This is this was filleted what 15 minutes ago? Yeah. So if that's too high, feel free to turn it down, Cam. Yep. Or the temperature of this will um pull it down a bit. Yeah. A little bit dirty for a camp camp mill, but I'll just do that now. I'll go and wash my hands, I'll let them fry for a little bit and get back to you. So you basically just want a nice little sizzle and it's as soon as the batter is brown basically because the fish is going to be done for sure. I'm getting, I'm looking pretty happy with that. that I might great. need to use that footage, is that looking? Yeah, that's what I'm going to send to you. Beautiful, bloody legend. How many tacos do you reckon you'd smash down? One or two because I want room for fish cakes. Beautiful, all right. Oh all shit, right so there's three there. Yep. I'll do two more pieces. Yep. Because you put one, they're mini tortillas. Yep, yep. We'll put them in. And then we get two each. Beautiful. Sounds we'll give good. them a, a flipperoonie. That's a nice crunchy bit. <laughs> Beautiful. And then straight away, guys, honestly, when it comes straight off, you want to salt them. Oh, look at that, dude. That looks so good, babe. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that colour, dude. Oh, God. Break a bit off, dude. Have a try. I want you to. I'm gonna. You can't stop me! <laughs> so hot, but delicious. Yeah. Mate. Delicious. You were so spot on when, um, off camera. It's like you've got to sort of use the batter straight away. Yeah. Beautiful. And that's it. <laughs> Really? Wicked. Yeah. So pretty much guys, while this one's frying off, I'm going to cut up a, uh, a little salsa type of thing to serve up and I'll get straight into that now. Fish tacos would have to be my absolute favourite meal of all time. All time. All time? Yeah. But you never see them on the channel because I never catch any bloody fish. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I'm drink? proud of these tomatoes for lasting so long. You need another drink, Pete? No, nah, all good brother, thank you. Got to be honest, guys, I've really missed doing these little cooking segments. Um, production quality is at a minimal, but I'll tell you, the fun, the fun's high. So that's um, tomato, onion, olive oil. Pepper. 
salt. And do they call this the devil's lettuce cam? They do. I'm pretty sure. When did you flip that? Just now? Yeah, just now. Okay. So whenever you think that's ready, I'll get you to grab that out for me, brother. Yeah, mate. Are you off now? You done with it? Yeah, lovely. Beautiful, something simple. When I first had fish tacos, I actually had them at a restaurant and it blew my goddamn mind because it's literally a piece of battered fish, a nice, you know, white uh, seafood sauce or a tartare sauce or something like tartare, tartare ta -ta mm. sauce, <laughs> and some beautiful fresh like ingredients. So Cam, I'm gonna make one for you, dude. I really want you to tell me. Yeah, looking forward to Be it. Be brutal with me. I will. And usually with these tortillas, I like to uh, like toast them a little bit. Or at least warm them up. Thanks, brother. No worries. Oh, at least we can, and, and it's good that we can sort of distinguish which one's flathead and which ones. No, all good, brother. Okay. I'll make. I want to make you one here. Cool. Come over here. Come over yeah. here. You're too yeah. good looking to be off screen. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get you to hold that. Got it. I'm going to throw a bit of koopy there for you. Mm -hmm. A mean amount. Um, I'm going to give you the the. Um, I reckon the cod, dude. Cod? The cod looks so nice. Look at that. Guys, I got it. Sorry. Sorry, Cam. Finger in your food. <laughs> that. Oh, dude. I'm so proud of that. Even without baking powder. Looks good. That's how that goes. And Love excuse it. fingers, my dude. Tell me what you think. I love that you're quiet. <laughs> Does it taste even better, mate. the success of catching it? It does. Does, does done, it taste like victory? You've done that fish justice, mate. It's yeah, no, nah, thank you really for your help, my man. That's beautiful, mate. Guys, that is that is as easy as it is. Oh, no, it took me, how, how long did it take me? Five minutes to get this Not stuff on? Not long at all, no. Get this stuff in. It's a bit of a clean-up, but take the effort to make it. Now, we're going to film his cooking segment. I can't bloody wait mm. to try them as well. And I'm going to mung a couple of these down, use this fish up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Check out Cam's channel while touring.